Hello, my name is Adam Lefemina, and today we're going to be having a look at the Jazz Vista T2 console. We're going to be looking at such things as patching, grouping, making a palette, and creating a queue. So, without further ado, let's get straight into the swing of things and have a look at patching. Patching is probably one of the most simple things you could do on the Jazz Vista T2 console. Here we can see Universe 1, Universe 2, Universe 3, and Universe 4. We can also look in Table View, List View, or DMX View. In List View, we can view all the attributes of the fixtures in a list format. Or in DMX View, we can view what is currently being outputted on what channel. For this, uh, we can also Strike, Douse, and Reset. In this example, we'll patch some fixtures to Universe 4. We will now search for our fixture. For this example, we will use the standard Sharpie with the lamp set to on. We are going to patch four fixtures. We can also change the name of the fixture, the fixture number, patch multiple fixtures, change the DMX universe, address, absolute spacing, and the spacing of the fixture. After we have set our values, we just press patch. Also, if we require, we can also drag from the fixture type window onto the patch screen. Grouping is also one of the key features of the Jans Vista. To simply group, select your fixtures, right click in the Groups Multi Quick Picker area and type in the name of your group. After that, press Enter. You can also assign these to handles by going to the Console Viewer. Once in the console viewer, simply drag and drop where you would like your group to be placed and bring up the fader to test it. You can also change the icon of the group by clicking change icon and scrolling through the list and pressing OK when you're done. Creating a preset is another one of the console's great features. Today we're going to use some of the presets which I had already created and make another one. As you can see we selected Sharpie side and a colour. In the Quick Pipper menu we can also select different kinds of presets like intensity, colour and position. Here we have used the Sharpie side and we have also used a colour as well. We will now change that to just a simple colour. Once we've done this, we can right click in the colour option and press create palette. It brings up all the fixtures that we have actually used. As you can see, the little blue three coloured icon is highlighted, which means all that will be recorded is the colour. Once that is done, it is available in the quick picker. Using the patched lights, preset and groups that we've made, we will now make a queue. Simply select the groups and bring up the intensity. Use the presets to select a position or a colour. Once your look has been created, press store all and create a new queue by typing in the name in the list column. You can also change the ID of the queue. Afterwards, just press OK. It's as simple as that. Anyway, that's my sum up for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you very soon. See you later.